Hey guys and welcome back to another GA Let's Play. In this episode I'm going to be looking at Deleted by HR Matthew. Now for anyone who doesn't know I've played one of his adventures before called Those Who Are Left and it was one of the most mind-blowing adventures I've ever played. And apparently this one came before it and I should have played this one first. But um, if I've heard the feedback correctly Matthew was originally worried that Those Who Are Left wasn't going to quite be as good as this. So if that one was that good then Holy shit, I'm looking forward to playing this one. So, let's see how it goes. You've been deleted from your creator's Wikipedia. This can't be. You are, the creator's, you are your creator's pride and joy. There has to be some mistake. There just has to. Maybe it was a technical error. I really need to read these properly. Well, with more character. <laughs> Maybe it was a technical error, a glitch in the system. Your creator could never delete you. Okay, so it's going along the same theme as the previous adventure. Well, no, the adventure after this. But, um, sounds pretty interesting. It's a really cool genre or theme to be going with. So let's see. Hopefully my character isn't too big to fit. Oh, it might be. Oh no, good. It's about the right size. Try to get back to the Sporpedia. Notes, please read carefully and also press P two times when switching locations to get important sounds to be playing. Do you just unclick? Hmm, okay. Alright, alright. First obstacle. I'm gonna get a bit through this. Yes. Hold on, so let's just. Wow. Alright, hold on, let me just just get a little oh, crap. There we go. Wow, this is looking pretty damn cool. For anyone who doesn't know, if you just do control H, H for hide, it hides the UI. Really good when you want to do screenshots and such. That's just really cool. Anyway, I should probably read this first. Apologies from the creator. Sorry for the inconvenience, it appears the developers o oversight that I had worked on the adventure whilst having the force save mod still enabled. This allowed me to use creations that otherwise couldn't be saved so therefore couldn't be shared properly. Those creations were two factory props and, sadly, the final room. The rest of the props remain intact. Hopefully this does not give you any problems. Please enjoy the rest of the adventure. That's probably why it's called deleted version 2, but, well, as long as it's been fixed. Deleted creations? Oh, interesting. Okay, anyway. You've arrived in the land of Forsaken. The air is thick with rust, heat, and most of all, hopelessness. The smell of rotting flesh, buildings, and lost dreams pervades the atmosphere. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's kind of dark. <laughs> I can just about see that guy. Next in line, please. We have another load of people coming in, and we can't all stall, stall at all over here. Let's see here. Hmm, Captain. Former long-time freelancer soldier, mercenary, deleted by his or her character for undisclosed reason, experience unknown. Hmm. You're surprised at the organisation of at such the reception. Most would have expected to land in a large, wretched garbage dump with eternal suffering and damnation. Hands you a shoddy ID card. Welcome to the land of Dan, sir. This is where you'll be stuck in... Stuck in until the server's shut down for good. In that case, we'll meet our doom. I know this sounds more like gibberish to you, but please, talk to the customs official ahead of me. My job is to record and register yourself into the city's database. Okay. It's a pretty cool way of doing it. This is really cool. Oh god. <laughs> My captain is a bit too big for these, but it's really cool. Um, Alright, yeah. Alright, zoom in then. Huh. This is a really, really cool setting. Ah yes, another Galactic Council mercenary to join Alitricity. The users usually don't get rid of their captains, but you must have probably been some slight imperfection. Yes, yes, I've heard the stories. Some data wiped your, you from the servers. You are the victim of troubleshooting, accidents, etc. Suck it up, your captain, your creator did not like you. <laughs> Alright. Of course, nothing here. No, that's what he's thinking. 
Of course, nothing here was ever designed anymore. We're stuck here in some monotonous limbo, waiting until the end of days. Please, continue through the hallway and, and the building until you come across a large hologram device, which is the... which is projecting representation of this realm, the Junkyard of Spore. The database should be adequate to all of your questions, as well as provide information on, on employment. There's a reason why this place isn't exactly heaven. Alright. Hmm. Oh. I need to get a replacement for my augmentation and starting to wear out. Two more deleted creations. Sexy motherfucker. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, so someone left something cooking. That's not good. Damn. Really cool props. How's the how's the job going in the smelting facilities? Oh, there's people. Wow. Okay, got it. I'll meet you in at your house in due time. Hmm. Oh, hello. I think this one's building in the is in the neighbouring city. It's not even that great, just another large garbage garbage heap like everything else. Nice computer screens everywhere. Greetings, immigrant blah 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 blah. Welcome to the land of the Sagan. Oh, this place has varied names. For simplicity, this realm is depicted as a planet, although it is really a plane. Okay. This realm was created when the first creation was deleted. Soon after, more and more followed. A large junkyard filled of embittered creatures was soon born. However, most deleted creatures, being physically imperfect, died out once creations forged died out once creations forged by most elaborate creatures entered the realm. They soon dominated a hostile land and its denizens. With their more adaptable brains, they built large cities from the rubble of deleted spaceships and buildings. Separating them, separating them are cities of unorganized deleted creations, full of wild beasts. You are in one of these cities, the better ones in fact. Now, please contact the nearest marked Max's representative. Head out the hallway to your right, please. There's this one person I tried to talk to, but he just wouldn't listen. I gave up after calling him a million times. Listen, can you send a message to my relative in the neighbouring city? It's the important news. Uh, okay, I should probably read the script a bit more. I told you to get yourself ready for the trek hours ago. Do we have to go over this again? Okay, yeah. <laughs> For a junkyard world, it is very well developed. Large, baleful shanty towers over watch over the slum streets below. You can hear the hum of obsolete yet complex technology. This may not be bad. Hmm. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, my, my character's having a better time here than doing the previous adventure. As in, not breaking through walls as much. Alright, so there was this one person I tried to talk to. Oh, yeah, saw that earlier. Thought I could just talk to someone. This radio tower is the centre of the communications for the city. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a little bit buggy, I think. Hello, if you've played at HR Matthews' past adventures, you know who I am. If not, I'll explain. I'm the evil TV from the horror horrors from below. I have not played any of these adventures other than his one after this, so this is new. Unfinished Adventure Series followed by the more successful World Series. It's a shame he didn't finish both, they could have been so great. Oh, and by the way, I'm not the least creation, I'm just here because, because as an evil TV I can explicitly teleport to wherever I please. <laughs> what? Well, anyways, that is all I got to say. Carry on with what you must do. Damn it, something's expecting me. <laughs> I like that. I should probably play the World Series. 
I'm just going to explore here quickly, see what's over here. Although it might look like I'm going to have to go there later. I should probably play the other series to understand what that reference was, but that's pretty cool. So, you're the guy that's got to help me, eh? Well, nice to meet you. I'm a scavenger. You know what I does? Find invaluable things in their seas of deleted building and flesh. <laughs> As a dangerous environment out there, with all them unstable structures and angry monstrosities hidden in their ruins. I don't even know why I'm talking this way. It's a privilege staying, staying safe in a city like this. The thing is, I ain't really looking for just scraps. There's some monster somewhere in this part of the ruins that no scavenger can defeat. A blocking potential loot sources, that's what. Some reports tell me he's like some <laughs> some goose stuck into the walls of some building. Pinkish, I've never seen it for, my, for myself. But I ain't gonna either, my life's too valuable. That's where you come in. Just walk over to the car and I'll take you to the place so you can find the monster and kill it. Besides, you're some captain. And I'll... and I'll just a frail scavenger. Well, screw you, I'm more important than you are. Well, at least I have bigger guns than you do. Can I, can I attack you? Oh, I probably shouldn't actually. Ah, oh, fair enough. It's a modified dump truck, typical of most scavengers. It's got mounted machine... Alright, yeah, you're probably more important than I am then. What do I do? Oh! Cool! <laughs> oh, hello! To save, save on time, the car will teleport you right near the Max's representative. Hmm. So, shall I get it? go in there again? Well, that actually worked. Hold on, what's going on with his legs? Is he sitting? Either way. <laughs> so cool. Don't try anything funny. I have arsenal of weapons behind me and I'm used to clear. And I'm clear to use force if necessary. Well, look at my guns. Well, I have like one. Damn it, I have a skull belt. Ah, welcome to Sissy57. I'm your local Max representative of the region. How may I help you? Are you looking for any job openings? You believe that you were deleted by accident and you want to be sent back into the digital spore world? I'm sorry, but that cannot be done. All trips here are strictly one way. You wish to speak to the leader of the city? I apologise. We do not follow any deleted creation creations into the Max's outpost building except for highly specific instances. You aren't one. Anyways, for local job openings, we have scavenger, mechanical, mechanical labourer, smelter. Don't think you can just squat here because this, this isn't how we operate. Ah, so you want to assist a scavenger? An opening is available. You can meet him past the radio tower. You took a right after leaving the entrance building, so take a left instead. I'm reading it in my head quicker than my lips can do, so kind of failing on the reading a little bit there. It appears to be a truck converted into some sort of stand and a residence. Really? Actually? <laughs> oh, wow! That's so cool! I know it told me where I'm meant to go, but I kind of just want to explore a bit more. And I can't remember where I'm meant to go. Something about left. I'm too busy having a look at this world. Oh, yeah seen that message. So where am I actually? Oh, hello. It doesn't want to talk. Oh. I, I think I just messed all the messages. So, where am I going to go again? Yeah, so I spoke to this guy now. Alright, that's one. I'm lost. Alright, I need to find the- oh, that's the truck again. And, yeah, this is it. I- what the heck? <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Look at the eyes. Oh god. This one's got a lot of health. I'm glad I've got a really strong captain for this. 
And you know, nice little ranged weapon. Oh fuck that, I'm gonna charge instead. Ah, oh, this is really cool. I'm liking this a lot. And I've never actually used this gun before, so it's got a really cool animation. Ah, oh, stop charging me, you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's just on crack. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's <laughs> just charging me again. I'm just getting stun locked. In sport. You? Fuck. What is- what is going on? Am I- I don't even know what my character's doing anymore. Get over here, you motherfucker. Yeah, screw you. Okay, that was fun. Um, hmm. Really? I can see why you guys were all deleted. What's this? Oh, well, wow. Ah! Fuck you. I'm too busy looking at the surroundings. You shoot me. What is going on with that? That looks pretty insane. In a really cool way. Damn. Alright, um, what am I actually- Oh, I'll probably go through this actually. Oh. God. Um. Okay. It's got a fucking thing coming out of his eye. Look at it. <laughs> you recognise the monster the scavenger talked about as bad data. This must be a, a corrupt creation. Or a mass of them. Horrifying and hideous and mystifying. It wants to talk to you. I don't want to talk to it. Oh god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. In its gibberish, you picked up the following words. Means of escape, Maxis, code, scroll, and click. I did not pick that out. <laughs> uh, Alright then. Scavenger, not eliminate. Find a factory. Means of escape. Escape. The monster seems to be trying to help you. It said you have to find the factory. As it seems to be related to your means of escape. All right. All right. Thank you for that. That was mega weird. What is this? It appears someone. It appears there's someone actually living out here, in the dangerous wilderness. How? You search the house and find nothing, nothing or no one. The poor soul either died or went out for a walk. Whatever the case may be, the monster probably lies in the building straight ahead. Ah, right, I think I was meant to see that first. That'd make a lot more sense. Um, the monster mentioned a factory of some sort. Wonder what that means. And it looked too tough to kill anyway. Yeah, it did look like a bit of a badass. You know, tentacles coming out of its eye. And eyes on its shoulders. That was weird. That was really cool, but that was really weird. Right then. Hello again. Are you here to share some concerns regarding your new job as, as a scavenger's assistant? A factory, you say? You want to work in one of the factories? I'm sorry, but all factory-related jobs are occupied. No vacancies. I hope this person's not referring to the factory I think he's referring to. Any jobs within the Max's building? Nope. There are no jobs there either. Besides, you are not allowed inside without proper clearance, which you probably will never have. Clearly, he is an obstacle. There must be... There has to be someone else that can tell me more. Or perhaps a food clerk near the radio tower, or perhaps any public 
vendor looking person or the info guy nearby. Time is right, the door will open. I don't even notice this and this looks really cool. I like how the screen is just, just about tilted. Alright, okay so I can talk to this guy if you need any information give me a shout. Oh, that's a fluffy little guy. Hello, I'm the local information control operator. Well, the second, after the last, after that large uh, radio tower. That's inefficient old obsolete radio tower. Alright. You want to know about the factories here? Well, for one, they're owned by Max's subsidiary that resides here. Most of them, anyway. Some aren't, but they're insignificant. I don't know much else, mostly because they're very secretive about their operations here. I'd venture a guess that the factories help maintain Sporpedia, though. How to get clearance to get in? You need to be a worker to get there, for obvious reasons. Most of the factories are accessed from the Maxis building, and they ain't asking for any, ever. You'd be hard-pressed to even find a worker nowadays. They've restricted their access to the outside world, up to the point where you can never see them. Kind of creepy, if you ask me. That is kind of creepy. But, let us press on and find the next guy we meant to talk to. So that's the information guy, and I saw something about a food guy as well, who's probably around here somewhere. Let me see. Kahal... Sahalin? Can I go in there? Oh wow, I can as well. Is this where I came in? I'm not actually oh God, quite sure. Oh yeah, this is where I came in. I should probably go back outside then. And I'm meant to find the guy- oh right, this guy right in front of me. That's probably him. Maybe, slightly. Doing a little dance for me. <coughs> well, howdy there. I see you ain't from around here. I'm- yeah, never mind. I sell the best food stuff in the region. So would you like what would you like to buy, eh? Where I get my meats? Well, they're the best meats that you'll find. Roasted to perfection and taken from the from the best beasts from out the wilderness. Can't beat the best. Factories, I don't know much about them. All I know is that them suits over over there <laughs> at the Max building owns them all. Sadly, no one other than the workers get in or out. You wanna get in that building? Shucks, you ain't used to this place, place, ain't you? None of us are ever getting in that building, and the factory jobs are always filled, so no one here ain't getting in. He's thinking, and he's just realised how funky his eyes are. Oh god, look at it. One of the workers left the factory a while back and fled to the wilderness. I don't know why, he may be something... He may have something this particular fellow would like. The vendor mentioned a worker out in the wilderness. Perhaps he has clearance. And you can also need to access the Maxis facility. However, the scavenger can give you a ride there. Talk to a deleted creation. Or the scavenger. Hey, thanks for killing that monster out there. Now we can enter the place without worrying about some creepy growth that's going to kill us. That place is already dang so dangerous. You want to go out there and find some former worker of the factories? I ain't gonna put myself in that in grave danger. That wilderness ain't a place for looking. We're gonna get killed. Well, I heard them reports about some weird fella that lives by where that monster to kill that assistant killed. Excuse me. Could be the work he's looking for, and I've gotta return the favour. If you're gonna go and make it quick, you're lucky there's some light out, because there's where the night's Yeah, I'm just going a bit dirt brained now. Cause when night falls, that place you don't want to be trapped there. I reckon he wants to become a factory worker. Find this guy and s find this guy and steal his identity and clearance. His choice. I guess I always gotta find new people scavengers anyway. <laughs> the way it's the way it's all written out, I'm actually starting to struggle to read it out loud now. I might have to start pronouncing properly.